friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. I just first want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. It's only been 24 hours, or actually less than 24 hours, and the previous video, number 273, the 1890s Washburn Parlor Guitar, has already had about 4,300 views and about 780 thumbs up, which is pretty nice, and 169 comments, which is quite a bit to keep up with. <laughs> We're now putting together the video for the case refurbish, and I just wanted to call your attention to a couple of things. Number one, these last three videos, including this one that you're about to see, uh, have been put together by my wife, of all people, and which is really surprising to me that she's gotten into it and she's really starting to enjoy the process, I think, and learning a lot more about computers. Computers have never been her thing. I just kept telling her, I said, I've got to have help. I just can't keep up with everything. And and she was reluctant because she's, she's not real good with computers, to be perfectly honest with you. But she did a good job on the last three videos. She's uh, edited number 272, 273, and now this 274 video. I will tell you that on the 273, the 1890s Washburn Parlor guitar, she spent three full days editing that video and one night till about 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so she put a lot of time in on it. And then after she put that much time in on it, then I did the fine detail editing and that took me, and I'm not making this up, it took me six hours. So there you go. A lot of time goes into these videos. So I really appreciate the thumbs up and I hope that's what you'll do to this video you're about to see. I hope you enjoy it. It is a uh, pretty cool case, and I think the restoration on this case, and maybe we should just call it a refurbish. I'm not really sure what the proper term is. You can use your own term on that, but it turned out pretty good, and I think you'll enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. Well, I figure the best place to start on this guitar is restoring this old case because it's in pretty bad shape. The fabric we're going to try to leave intact as it is. That's what the customer prefers. The wood itself is not that bad. It's the uh, joinery and all that that's just messed up big time. I think I really need to take what's loose apart to clean it and glue it back because it's just not going to work well the way it is, I don't think. So I'd like to get this piece out of there. I'm not quite sure how it's fastened, so that's what we're going to work on. Work the screwdriver down in the joint down at the bottom. I think it's probably got a couple little nails in it the way it feels, and I'm just going to pry them out. Came right out, just one nail. And it's just so dirty, that's the reason I just feel like I need to take it apart to clean it before I start putting it back together. I'm going to do some general cleanup just with vacuums and brushes and things. You can see I'm making it cry now. It, all that uh, glue's come pouring out of that crack. I knew there had to be a better clamp than what I was doing. So, I basically had to clamp it from front to back with these two clamps here to keep it in line because it's, at, it's cracked at such an angle that it wanted to slide down the angle. I put plastic where the clamps touched there so the plastic hopefully won't stick to the glue. I just can't get in there and clean it out where the plastic is unfortunately. But now it's pretty straight across there where that was a problem before. Now it's pretty lined up. We'll give that a couple hours to set up and we'll move on to the next piece. Working on this corner of the uh, case. The bottom of the case is facing you. This is the lid here. Just trying to see if it's going to fit okay before I start putting the glue to it. I think I can make this work okay. It's you know, I'd rather just try to put it back together without modifying it too much. I don't think it'll come back apart once I get her all together.
I went ahead and took the lid off the case. I thought that would be the best way to work on this. I probably should have done that from the beginning. I'm working on the back here. Simple fact is this piece was just too long to go back in here. All the other joints are tight, so it's not like there's something. It's just, you know, maybe the bottom has shrunk. I don't know, but this piece was just too long. It was just too long by about almost an eighth of an inch. So I cut it down and now it actually goes back in here pretty good. It's still, if anything, a little tight. It's not loose. And then we'll have to pull the angle back in here at the top to get it to glue up. This brace here is broke, so we're going to fix that while we're working on it. Go ahead and glue this brace in first and maybe give it a couple of minutes to set up. It'll probably have to be clamped anyway with when I put it all together. I put a bar clamp across here which drawed these joints in pretty tight. It's uh, looking pretty good actually, not too bad. It was nailed before, so I'm just going to try to nail it again. All the, all the nails work. This one came out above it in here, but that's not going to be a problem. I'll just knock it back out of the way. I'm also going to pin these across here. They weren't pinned before, but I think it has to be pinned in order for this to stay. And there's no good way to clamp it that I can see. Clamping that internal brace in there. Well, that's about as good as I can do with it. It's kind of a strange way to clamp something, but uh, you know, there's no way to get clamping pressure across those angles. So I put a couple of C clamps on each side, uh, wedged this clamp in between there, and then I can pull it together. That pulled it together pretty good. And with the nails and the glue, I think it'll hold. So we'll let it set like that. There's a lot of miscellaneous pieces that are breaking off of this too, and this little piece here was broke off. As a matter of fact, that they're broke off in several places. These little pieces stick up, and that's what lines the, the uh, top, and they're broke off. This one's missing here. I don't even see that one. Anyway, we're going to fix those. This one's broke off here too, and this one's broke off. So I'm just cleaning off those areas cleaning them off pretty good, getting the dust and junk out of there and just gluing them right back in place. These blue clamps have leather in there on both sides already built in. I glued it in there. This extra clamp here down here doesn't have leather so I'm putting leather pads on it. I repaired the lid on this case. I, you can see how I put in new wood obviously. The customer doesn't really want the fabric uh, replaced or anything. He just wants to leave the fabric as is. So I've got this new glue here. It's for gluing, it says, you know, pretty much anything to anything, uh, especially plastic to anything. But I think it'll glue this just fine. And it, it just seems like the right kind of glue for something like this. Well, structurally, we've got the outside of the case pretty good. There's a lot of work to be done yet. The fabric is totally loose. This is part of the accessory box inside, and it's come loose. I'm washing it off. There's like mildew and all kinds of junk on this stuff, and I'm just trying to get rid of all the really nasty crud that's on there. And I'm just using plain old water to do it. It's coming off for the most part. It's pretty bad looking junk. I don't know what it is, but you can see it's pretty dirty. Wetting down the joints here that I'm going to re-glue. Like I said, it's so dry that it, it won't hurt to wet it down a little bit. It looks about like it's in the right spot, so we're going to clamp and put a crust here and put, clamp her down. Got clamped on the top and bottom, and it's squeezed up real good and tight, so I think that's going to be good. Looks to me like this whole end here needs to be re-glued too, so I think while that's in that position, we'll go ahead and get some glue in this crack and glue this back up tight too.
Well, I put this squeeze clamp across these two clamps to pull the corner together, and boy, that really worked even a lot better than I expected. So it's pulled up real good and tight now. So we should be very good. Well, famous last words. We're just about to finish up the structure on this uh, case. The uh, one thing that uh, is really a problem is these hinges. You can see how like they're supposed to fold all the way down and they don't. They're just stiff. They're stiff all the way through. And anytime you have hinges that are stiff, and these are even more stiff. Look how stiff this one is. I can't even lift it. Anytime you have that kind of stiffness in your hinges, it's going to torque what they're fastened to. So that's going to torque these joints, lifting the lid back and forth if these hinges aren't fixed. I like the hinges. They're good hinges, but they're just old and rusty. So we're going to take them off. We're going to wire brush them, clean them all up, oil them up, and we're going to make them work like brand new again. much better. All of the screws are very rusty and you can see this one has not been clean. This one I lightly sanded. So I'll show you what I'm doing there. That just cleans them up enough to make them look like they match the cleaned up hinges. I'm not trying to make them super shiny. If you cleaned them up more they would look too shiny. Uh, one of my viewer friends sent this in to me with some other stuff, which was very nice of him. And I'm trying it really for the first time on this case. And I have to tell you, I recommend it very highly. It's very good stuff. It dries fast. It fills easy. And it doesn't shrink. It doesn't seem like it shrinks at all. It's amazing. And uh, it sands so easy. It's just unbelievably easy to sand. The real test is what does it look like when I stain this and we'll find that out very shortly. The customer does not want this to look like a new case. He doesn't want it black, solid black and shiny or anything like that. He really wants to keep the old look and I'm just trying to, you know, make it look like a uh, well cared for old book. I'm pretty sure it's going to look old regardless of what we do here, but I may have to go through with a little paintbrush and touch up those little white specks that are in the low areas. Well, that white stuff, uh, the filler, does take the stain real well where you can touch it. But down in those deep cracks, obviously, I'm going to have to go back and touch that all up. Case feels real solid now where it was just in shambles when it got here. It was absolutely falling apart. You can always put more on. It's hard to take it off though. So I'm trying to uh, just do it a, a once over first, see what it looks like. Just touching spots here and there. You know, we'll uh, go back over it again if we need to and, and do it more. I'm just, again, I just see as you can see, I'm just wanting to leave a lot of the beat, beat up look to it. Because that's I'm pretty sure that's what he wants. He's he's that kind of guy that you know doesn't really want to restore anything. He just he just wants it kind of like refurbished, and that's the way I think I would approach this or call what I'm doing is more like a refurbish and making it work again. This is the new wood that I put in there and trying to make it 
I, you know, I beat it up a little bit, rounded it off on the corners, kind of like this is wore off on the corners, and you know, it it matches pretty well. But it's the same kind of wood, I believe. I, I believe this is poplar, and the wood I put in there is poplar. Got the very same kind of grain look to it. Going over that a little bit more to get the black a little darker because it doesn't look quite as dark as the original wood. All right, it's nowhere near uh, completely finished yet, but I think what I'll do is go ahead and install the lid back on the case and work on it together and try to make the, you know, the whole look blend together. There you go, it's at least on there, and it certainly opens better than it used to, because that used to be really stiff. Well, here's what it all looks like, all put together. That little wonderful guitar, all back in good shape. It's an old coffin case, as you saw me restore, and it fits in there just like a little glove. Doesn't hardly move at all, just a little bit of movement, but it fits in there really nice. And the case does close with the guitar in there, but the case doesn't line up real good with the, the top and the, the sides and all that. There's some cracks there, as you can see. A pretty cool outfit, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah.